guys, it's Liz. Before we get started, I have a few questions. Do you vibe with any of these letters? Are you an artist? If so, head over to my Instagram and ask me for an interview. I'd like to promote some creators on my blog at lizbeanart.com. You are welcome to follow and view these platforms at any time you'd like. It would mean a lot to me. Thanks. So today's video is a speed paint of my OCs Alfrontera and Princess Hen. In the two videos before that, I talked a little bit about how I'd like to incorporate a Phoenix color palette for them. The intention for having a Phoenix version of these characters is to give them a middle finger to the bury your gaze trope. If you're unaware, it's the very it's very common for media to define an LGBT character's development by killing off half of the relationship. Originally, this method was a way of punishing homosexual characters for being depraved or villainous. The Celluloid Closet is a movie that discusses the histories of gay deaths in classic movies. As the general public became more accepting of gay people, the storyline was altered to appear more sympathetic, but that did not change the fact that these characters are killed off in so many of these storylines. If you're a fan of anything from the last 10 years that happens to have a gay person in it, one of your favorite characters was probably killed or damaged by this trope, and for me personally, that would be Riley from The Last of Us. I will never forgive Naughty Dog for just ruining a storyline that could have been so different. It could have been a lot more colorful if they found a way to keep Riley in the story. I also haven't played the second game yet, so please, no spoilies. So yeah, the reason I wish to create a Phoenix storyline is to bring some catharsis for anyone who is tired of this trope. And also, a warmer color palette for Al's suit would be bad ass. Honestly, the only way to regain control of the content you see is by making it yourself. I'm not entirely thrilled with the representation in a lot of TV. So I don't watch it. I don't relate to a lot of characters in media, so I, I end up making it for myself. I encourage other people to do the same because it's very liberating. It's a lot of fun to feel like you are in control of the content you're seeing. I always see people posting, oh I wish this storyline happened, or I wish this was a thing. I wish people would write a story about this or make a video game about that. And to that I say, DIY yourself. I've been seeing a lot of fan art of a show called Catra, and the Princess of Power. I could be totally wrong about that, about those uh, words, but it's definitely about a princess and a cat person and canon lesbians. So I'm not super sure, but maybe I would absolutely love it if I finally see it. It, I'm not entirely sure if I would be interested in the storyline. I don't know, I'd have to check it out for myself, I guess. I've been watching a lot of Inuyasha, just because that's a childhood show for me. <laughs> I, I was not allowed to watch Adult Swim, but that was not a very heavily enforced rule. But it's probably going to inspire some storylines down the road for me. I really enjoy the formula that they have, uh, where Inuyasha does the bulk of the fighting, and even though Kagome is a fairer individual, she can still be a, a formidable foe to these demons. I think that would be a really interesting concept to play with, with Alfrontera and Princess Hen. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I didn't realize how much of the story that I internalized uh, 
from Inuyasha. Uh, <laughs> I watched it a lot as a child, but then I had that I hate anime phase, and it took a long time for me to recover from that. Uh, what I failed to realize is that everyone hates anime. Like, especially weeaboos. Like, everybody hates anime. So I've just been on that weeb shit before bed every night. <laughs> Creating content for my channel has been pretty easy so far. Maybe that's not what I'm going for, is easy. It's really fun to record my progress in digital art. The only issue is uh, figuring out how I want to record the audio. There's still some issues I'm having. Right now I'm testing out having music playing in the background. Let me know if, the, if that works for you or if it was better off without. Scripting a video is very time consuming and normally the content comes out pretty stiff. You've probably noticed that with this video, actually, because a lot of what you are hearing I have written out ahead of time. And for a lot of video styles, that works. It's especially good for how-tos, um, tutorials, uh, and just anything that you should have already known what you were talking about before feeling your way through it. If I was drawing this live, and you were watching me, I don't really think there's a way to script that. But the way that I'm talking over a speed paint, that is actually much better for... <laughs> it's a lot better than um, just trying to do it off the cuff. And even then, like, my ad-libbing is very stiff, because that's just how I talk. Uh, freely rambling isn't really good for me. I'm not a public speaker. It's not, it's not a skill that I have developed. It's something that I am currently working on, and if, if you know how to fix it, please, please let me know in the comments, because it is my, it is my garlic to the vampire, the silver bullet, Achilles heel, etc. It is just one thing that I struggle with every time. My speaking is my biggest obstacle. I've always been someone, like even when I'm comfortable, I have been someone who will trail off mid-sentence. I stutter, I forget what I was talking about, or I lose interest in what I'm talking about. That's the worst part. It's the worst that I built up the courage to talk to somebody and then it's not even interesting enough for me to talk about. <laughs> So yeah, I could use some serious help with my vocal communication skills. Erin on Game Grumps suggested taking an acting class for people who do video essays. And that would bring a lot of life to my content, but that doesn't change the fact that it takes so long to actually construct a sentence. So I'm kind of dealing with a double whammy here. First of all, it takes a long time to actually produce content for me to verbalize, and then it takes a lot of energy and skills that I don't have to record it. So that's a, uh, like I'm good enough at writing papers. I can write an article, I can script a video, but what I'm struggling with is the delivery because commentary like this is just supposed to be me hanging out with you guys. Like, we're just hanging out. But then I run into this problem where because I'm not normally the person who takes the forefront of the conversation, I don't normally lead the conversation. So now I have to do that by myself. It's very lonely <laughs> not being able to have anyone answering my questions. I keep rambling about my speaking abilities, but that's probably not what you came to hear, I'm assuming. Uh, this podcasty style of video making is probably a little too easy. I should probably go for, like I said earlier, a how-to 
type of video, something with a little more intent. Because right now, we're hanging out. I'm just sort of rambling about art and my opinions and things I like. It's just commentary. If that's the type of content you enjoy seeing, then let me know in the comments. Let me know if this is the type of content that you just sort of play in the background while you're trying to sleep. I respect that. I would love if my videos, like you would just throw on one of my playlists before bed. That would be so awesome. I would love to hear if you do that. So yeah, let me know if there is a particular style of content that you like from artists. I know a lot of them do how-tos. That's something that is good for SEO. It's good to get... Uh, you look up how to do those things, which means a lot of people will find you because they were looking for you. And right now I'm kind of banking on YouTube Rex and me sharing and I need to be focusing on creating content. Maybe I'm a little too niche, maybe, I don't know, maybe content focused on just lesbians isn't something that will get me super YouTube famous or whatever. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Yeah, I have a long week ahead of me. I'm not super focused on creating the most interesting content to talk about right now. I'm really sorry about that. I've written so many words in the past two weeks. It's kind of making my head spin. I wrote two scripts and two blog posts in a little over a week. So that's looking at over 2,000 words, very close together. I'm not too incredibly focused on this one, but thank you so much if you made it this far in the video. I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate people uh, willing to hang out with me while I draw. <laughs> and thank you for being here for my baby steps. This is me learning how to walk right now, and I'm still feeling out what I can create consistently without killing myself doing it. And I think I'm almost there. I really feel like I'm, I'm getting there. I'm working on thumbnails. I'm working on figuring out how to upload my videos at a higher uh, quality because I'm noticing that it's not letting me view these videos in anything higher than, what is it, 480p? And that's ridiculous. That should not be an option of keeping it so low. I'm obviously doing something wrong there, so hopefully with this video that will be fixed, <laughs> because I don't want that to keep happening. I would really like it if you guys could watch this in the highest quality possible, even if the art itself is not the best quality. I wrote a lot, and the week ahead is a lot of work, because normally when I pick up an extra shift, it's just an 8-hour shift. But now, this week, I'm picking up a 12-hour shift. So I'm working 48 hours this week. It's stupid. It's just stupid. I should not have picked up 12 hours like that. That was foolish of me, but the boss lady asks. I have a hard time saying no to money, especially when I work such a gravy job. It'd be nice to learn more about my audience because I am spending a lot of time talking about myself. A couple of you guys have contacted me saying that you've subscribed, which is super cool. I, I really appreciate anyone who is willing to give me the time of day like that because I never really thought that this would happen. But we are coming up to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you know when I have manifested in the YouTube sphere again. Thank you for watching. And yeah, that's it. I will 
See you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.